Hey guys, welcome to the channel. My name is Ed, and today I will be reacting to the forklift and pallet jack fails of 2022. Uh, as a key myself, I can relate to um, the people in this video. I haven't seen it yet, by the way. Uh, but I've been driving a fork for about 15 years now, give or take. And, you know, I've done my fair share of fails and stupid shit on it as well, um, especially when I was younger. Uh, one instance, I lost my concentration and uh, for whatever reason, I spaced out and I thought I was only gone for like a second, but obviously I was gone a bit longer because I've extended the mast and the tines up so far, I actually smashed the lights and shit. And um, yeah, so shit does happen. So uh, without further ado, let's crack on with the video. Big shout out to Adams. I will link his video in the description below. Please check him out. <laughs> oh, man. Hopefully this guy didn't take a big bump, man. That, that looked like it hurt. I've never used one of these. <laughs> okay. Oh, shit. Bro, that's not a good sign. Slow down, brother. What are you doing? Oh no! <laughs> He's cracked the shits, mate. Look at him. Oh man. Okay. I'm sorry. I gotta stop this for a second. What the fuck did you think was gonna happen? How the fuck were you planning to load this truck? Like, what the fuck? Oh my god. You cannot tell me someone is this fucker stupid. Jesus Christ. <laughs> oh. Oh no. Stop, you idiot. That's another thing, man. If you're driving a fucking fork and your vision is obstructed, obstructed, excuse me, for whatever reason, you cannot see what the fuck's in front of you, reverse. Go backwards, man. It's not rocket science. Jesus. The fuck up in there. Oh, <laughs> fuck me. No way. My, this shit ain't even wrapped. Like, no wonder you, you have to be super careful with shit like this, mate. I... Oh, see, at least the other shit's wrapped up. This, this is gonna fucking go all over the joint. As soon as you pick it up, kaboom. Oh my god, you feel bad for the forky there, mate. You know, it's not entirely his fault. Oh my god. Whoop. 
the fuck up. <laughs> Shit. Whoops. That's it, mate. Just drive a time through the fucking car, mate. No worries. Nah, didn't go in far enough. Did not go in far enough, mate. Now it's gonna go. That's gonna go, man. I could have seen it a mile away. That's another thing, like, if you pick shit up and you feel it's not far enough, then, you know, it's a bit wobbly and shit, go back, put it down, go in a bit further, and then pick the car up again. I've seen this many of times in the fucking warehouse and shit. It happens, okay? You lose concentration, you lose focus for a second. Shit happens, but man, watching from the sides, and as I said, driving a fork for 15 years, you sort of learn a thing or two. But man, it's common fucking sense. If it's wobbly, put it down, go back in, pick it up again. Oh my god. No way. <laughs> Come on, bro. Oh, man. I want to feel bad for that guy. I just can't, man. <laughs> Shit. Your turkey. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Not the piss, mate. What's wrong with you? Not all that grog, mate. Oh, my God. If I was him, I'd fucking lick that off the ground before the boss comes, mate. You know what's going to happen? You're going to get the ass, bro. Oh, 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 oh. Too hard. Yeah. Ugh. Saw it coming a mile away. No. Oh, you poor bugger. Shit. That could have been a lot uglier. Whoopsie daisy. There he goes. <laughs> I was gonna I stopped it there for a second I was gonna say kudos to the forky mate he saved the load and then as soon as I stopped it he, he managed to fuck it up somehow so um yeah now you're there brother hmm <sighs> That ain't gonna happen. Oh my god. Oh shit. What the fuck happened here? Uh, it was a funny story once, um, true story by the way too, sorry, I gotta, I gotta tell it. Um, we were loading this big bearing to, into a truck and our forklift capacity is a ton and a half at the most. And the bearing was close to two ton, give or take. And uh, 
we had to get a tr back the truck into the warehouse and the forky was trying to load it on but the fork was going to tip so he put the load down and then there's like four or five of us big units like i'm talking fat cunts like myself we had to jump on the back of the fork and dangle it off and shit just to load the fucking bearing <laughs> it was a fucking clown show but hey we got the job done at least it didn't tip the fucking thing over all is well that ends well right <laughs> Sorry, I'm rambling again. Oh man, that's gonna go, dude. Not much you can do there. You just gotta hope there's no one in the aisles when the shit goes down. Oh my god, get the fuck out of the way, brother. Get out of the way, man. Holy shit. How the fuck you didn't see him there? What the fuck are you looking at, man? Don't tell me you did not fucking see the poor blog there. Come on. Could have fucking killed him. Fuck, this guy fell asleep. Whoa. Holy shit, man! That last clip, the guy, the guy cheated that by a fucking whisker, mate. He could have got buried under that rubble or shit, and would have been gone. Thank you all for watching. Thank you for chilling with me. Have a wonderful night, and I will see you soon. Take care, everyone. Good night.